Did you know? The characters Sektor and Cyrax were originally named Ketchup and Mustard during Mortal Kombat 3's development because of their red and yellow color schemes. These names are referenced in both MK Deadly Alliance and Armageddon under Cyrax and Sektor's Sambo fighting style, as Sektor has a move called Ketchup's Revenge. Footage of the names being used can also be seen in Mortal Kombat Armageddon's bio cards, and there's even an early image of Sektor being referred to as Robocop. The character Jax was originally conceived as a kickboxer, but the idea was eventually scrapped. It's thought that this was because the developers felt that Jax would be too similar to certain characters from the Street Fighter series, like Balrog, Sagat, and DJ. Jax was also originally going to be named Curtis Stryker, but this name was put aside and was later used for a different character altogether in Mortal Kombat 3. Originally, Jax was planned to appear in the first Mortal Kombat, but was ultimately replaced by Sonya Blade. The change was made because there were no female characters in the Mortal Kombat roster, and Ed Boon and his team wanted to add some variety to the lineup of warriors. Sonya was named after Ed's sister, and she inherited Jax's role in the game's story, having a rivalry with Kano. In an episode of G4's Icons, Ed Boon stated that Kano's eye and metal-plated face were directly based off the T-800 for Terminator 2, Judgment Day. The Ninja Rain was originally a red herring created by Mortal Kombat's developers. In the arcade version of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, a character called Rain could be seen for a second in the game's attract mode, and seemed to be fighting as a playable character. Rain's inclusion there was a joke, and was intended to spark fan rumors and efforts to try and unlock him in the game. Fans eventually gave up searching for ways to find the elusive warrior, and came to the realization he was another example of the developers having fun with rumors and secrets. The font used to display his name is slightly different than other characters, and this is possibly a hint that he wasn't real at all at the time. In the console versions of the game, however, he was eventually made playable anyway. The fact that his name is Rain, that he wears purple, and he later turned out to be a prince, is a reference to the album Purple Rain by Prince. Sub-Zero, on the other hand, was originally going to be named Tundra. The name was later used as the original name of Sub-Zero's younger brother, who then replaced Sub-Zero after he died at the hands of Scorpion. The original Sub-Zero then became Noob Saibot, whose name of course is Boon and Tobias backwards, referencing series co-creators Ed Boon and John Tobias. In every Mortal Kombat game from Deception onward, Noob Saibot's name is displayed as Noob. Fans believe that since John Tobias left Midway Games, the Saibot part of Noob's name had to be removed for legal reasons. However, this seems unlikely as Tobias doesn't own the rights to the name Cybot. This shadowy fighter usually attacks as two beings in all of the Mortal Kombat games, and according to Ed Boon, one is called Noob and the other is Cybot. This seems like a more reasonable explanation why his display name in newer games is just Noob, as Noob would be the main fighter and his doppelganger would be considered an assist. The character Boracho's name is a play on words. His name comes from the Spanish word borracho, meaning drunk. His sloppy nature and his drunken fist-fighting style also sprung from this idea. The character of Baraka has an appearance that was based on a mask of the vampire Nosferatu. The developers modified the mask, painting it to look more horrifying, and added false fingernails to extend the teeth. Early art also shows alternate Baraka designs as a human ninja wielding hook swords. These hook swords were later passed on to Cabal in MK3 and quickly became his signature weapon. Shao Kahn was originally going to have the same animalistic teeth as Baraka, but the idea was eventually dropped because the developers wanted Outworld to have a greater variety of races other than just the Tarkatan horde. Shao Kahn was digitally resized to be taller in MK2, making him tower over the other characters. This was actually necessary as the actor playing Shao Kahn, Brian Glynn, wasn't very tall to begin with. There's even a group photo of Glynn and the game's developers where Ed Boon appears to stand around two inches tall taller than the mighty ruler of Outworld. The lead character in Mortal Kombat Deception is named Shijinko. His name is derived from Japanese, and his literal translation into English is Protagonist. When Shijinko travels to both the Chaos Realm and the Nether Realm in the game's Conquest mode, a few characters seem to be speaking in a garbled language. <laughs> They're actually talking backwards, and are saying things like, I am talking backwards. Spooky, isn't it? Drink milk. Get plenty of sleep. Listen to your parents. Do your homework. If you have decoded this, you have way too much time on your hands, my friend. It is said that John Vogel is a genius. John Vogel is a genius! Those last two comments were about Mortal Kombat series developer John Vogel. Vogel is an artist who has worked on the franchise since its inception, and his mention in the audio clips were likely just a fun in-joke. Rico is not Shao Kahn. 
Although sometimes he secretly wears the Emperor's helmet. This audio is a reference to fan reactions about Raikou's ending in Mortal Kombat 4. In the console versions of the game, Raikou's ending showed him walking through a portal into Shao Kahn's throne room and putting on Khan's helmet. Though the ending was just a joke by developers, many fans thought the ending was stating that Raikou and Shao Kahn were canonically the same person, or that Raikou had managed to overthrow the Emperor. This same scenario was also joked about specifically in a mission where Shao Kahn sends Raikou a warning after hearing a rumor that he had been regularly sneaking into his chamber to wear his helmet. That's all for today, but don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also check out DidYouKnowGaming.com, where we post gaming trivia every single day. If you like this video, then please check out our other videos. And if you want to see more Mortal Kombat stuff, or lots of Let's Plays and cartoons, head on over to our channel, Two Best Friends Play, the hypest gameplay on YouTube.